Hello and welcome back to another episode of the Catapult Diaries. I'm your host, Captain Bernie Man FM, and I welcome you to this Football Manager Long Term Save, where we're taking the minnows of Dutch football, VVV Venlo, all the way to the very top of Dutch football, and then we're going to try and do something in Europe. Conquering Europe seems a long, long way away, but we have gone and won the league, so we do find ourselves in the Champions League, and this is our first look. Well, with you, I've played a couple of games in the Champions League, but it's the first look for you to have a look at how we're going to do in the Champions League. And it couldn't get any worse. It, well, I say worse, it couldn't get any harder because we're playing possibly the most recognised football team in the world, the most successful football team in European football ever, Real Madrid. And we're only going to bring you that one game today because things, as you remember from the last episode, have not gone great. The defence of our title is not up there with the best. Things have started to just turn around just a tad little bit. Let's have a quick look at how we've been getting since we last together. So last time we were together, we started off our title challenge. Well, we didn't start it off, but we played our first game of the season live on camera for you against PSV Eidhoven. And we lost by one goal to nil with two minutes remaining in the game. We followed that up with a 4-0 drubbing in our first Champions League game against Manchester City away from home. Players like Max Ahrens, who plays for Norwich in real life, obviously now plays for Manchester City, scored Gabriel Jesus, Raheem Sterling and Sergio Aguero getting on the score sheet. And Di Marco got sent off as well in this game. So it was, yeah, a bad day at the office. We followed that up with a 2-2 draw in the league against Wilhelm, where we went 2-0 down on the 31st and the 32nd minute, we got one back on the 36th through Farai and then Baltazar Lopez got the equaliser on the 58th minute. And it was just a little turn in the way that we've been playing in recent weeks. And that turn was a good turn because we went into our first home game at the Coverbo Stadion de Kaul Venlo, where VV Venlo hosted RB Salzburg of Austria and we won by two goals to one. They scored in the 90th minute, so it should have been to Will William getting off the score gets off the score sheet in the first minute and then Andre Ayu coming off the bench and getting the second and we were too good for them. They didn't deserve to get their goal, but they did. And we held on for our first historic victory in the Champions League. And we followed that up with a 1-0 victory in the league. Amrabat after 87th minute coming off the bench, the Moroccan, the lad who have just signed to get the winner against Hercules Almelo and it was massive let me just say that it was absolutely massive because it has just changed the fortunes of us this season forget about this just for now we lost 4-0 to Real Madrid at the Bernabeu yeah the more we talk we, I mean the, the less we talk about it the better but we came back to Holland and we came in to October and it was against our old foe Fortuna Sittard where William getting on the score sheet once again on the 65th minute, getting the winner for VVV Venlo, and we took all three points. We then entered the first round of the Dutch Cup, and we won by six goals to nil. Can you just see a little bit of a change? Yes, a a a NAC Breda are not in our division, but a 6-0 drubbing away from home. I don't think we would have got that in the first couple of weeks of the season. And then we've just come off a back of a bit of a thriller, to be honest with you, a 5-3 victory at that. And it was a couple of late goals from us that completely put the game to bed. Dean Garner getting to Lynnhurst, Zinhurst, uh, Zing, Zerk Z, shall I say, getting his first goal in over a year. And then William completing the route. They scored three goals. Did they deserve three goals? No, they bloody did not. So that leads us on to the game today against Real Madrid. And that's the only game I'm going to bring you. I'm not going to bother bringing you the game against Vitesse. This is the Champions League special. This is it. The Champions League special. And if we're going to get through the group by some sort of miracle, past Man City or Real Madrid, then we've got to go and win this game today. Period. We've got to be the teams. We've got to win at home. That's it. We've just got to win our games at home and then somehow beat Salzburg in Austria. And I think we've got a bloody good chance then. But if we lose today, then I can't see us beating City as well. But anyway... Let me just show you how we're doing in the league because we're doing a lot better. As you can see, we are now on 18 points after 10 games. Yes, Feyenoord obviously have got a game in hand. PSV have got two games in hand, so not looking great from our side for that. But if you just look at the wins and the draws and the losses now, 
we're now just getting above where we were last time we did go down to 11th one point so yeah getting back up to fifth has been a bit of an achievement if i'm going to be completely honest with you really early on in the season still there's plenty of points to be won and lost and we hope to take as many points as possible so that's it that is the update nothing else to bring you we're going to get straight on to the game against real madrid at home come on the boys in yellow and if you were interested in how we're actually looking in the Champions League group draw, then we're sitting in third at this moment in time. We are three points behind Manchester City. They're probably going to beat Salzburg. So that's why it's so important for us to go and get the win against Real Madrid today. Because if we don't, then yeah, we're not going to get through. But we will then push to get third place, which will give us a spot in the Europa League second round. Anyway, let's get straight out to the formation fortunately lucian agunu has got himself a suspension so we're gonna to have to change things around and this is how things have been looking recently so golden has turned into an absolute machine at the back yes that's right we changed dean gan around from the right to the left we put william out on the right and he's just turned into a superstar once again lynhurst has been playing in front of manuel farai as an advanced playmaker and Amrabat's going to have to come in for Agumu at the, what is this, a register? A register position? Is that what they call it? A register? I don't know what that does, but we've been playing as it, and it's been bloody working. Panzo always comes onto the left for Di Marco these days. That's it. That's the team. That's what we're going with. Let's hope it can work. Let's hope we can do something against Madrid. Mentality, it's on attacking. Now... Do I stay attacking and get picked off or do I go balanced and get picked off? I'm going to live and die by my sword and we're going to go attacking. Forget it. Just looking at the team and I completely forgot that it's Real Madrid. I need to take a bit of a <laughs> chill pill and just, yeah, watch out for Eden Hazard. They've got Jovic up front. They've got John Stones at the back for, him, for crying out loud. Casemiro still plays for them as well. They're going for with their biggest team out there. So possibly not going to stay on attack. We owe Real Madrid after last time. And everyone bloody agrees with me. And then we're going to go. I'm going to say to the lads, go and make a difference out there. I am. Um, I can't do it. I can't be attacking. We're going to go to balanced. Balanced? Balanced? Balanced. And we're going to go for it. Let's do it. And if we do this, then it will be the biggest... The biggest whatever we did beat Inter Milan a couple of seasons ago. I mean, I know Inter Milan and Real Madrid are not the same, but you know where I'm coming from, so it can happen. Lindhurst is going for. We've got a first stack here. It's Lopez. There's no words to describe that miss. Huh. I can't even stop thinking about that miss straight away. There are the chances we've got to put away if we're going to win this game. Hazard takes on, however. Hazard's coming through, he goes for the strike, that's ever so wide, way, way wide. Coming up to 20 minutes here, and we're matching them. We're matching the big old Spanish giants that are Real Madrid. Come on, the boys in yellow. Saying that, here comes a highlight for Real Madrid. It's Carvajal, puts the ball into the box. Keeper's got to come and collect it, and Del Ferraro does. I don't know why I even doubted him there. He is the hands of steel, he knocks it out too. Dean Ganna, Dean Ganna now. Couldn't get in the West Ham team last season, but now somehow playing in the Champions League. Panzo, couldn't get in the Monaco team, now playing in the Champions League. <laughs> Golding, 37. We are the misfits of European football, but can we pull out the biggest shock of all? Willan, Willan, Willian now. It comes to Lynnhurst. However, back to Lynnhurst. The VVV legend gives it to Dean Ganna. Big chance again, and we should be two up. Two clear court opportunities and VVV Venlo are going to rue these chances. Lopez, Horahan, Dean Gana. Oh, the ball is bouncing around and Madrid get it away. Oh, I've got a feeling that they're going. We're taking the game to Madrid, but I've got a feeling they're going to do something. However, now, can he get the ball on the pitch? He can. It's Baltazar Lopez to Amrabat. Two, however, back to Lindhurst. Lindhurst, oh, ball over the top. Lopez is going to get there. Can Baltazar Lopez do something? He puts the ball in there and it's saved by Courtois. And it's still nil-nil. And we are the better team. What am I watching? Oh, those misses. 
Ah, oh, it's going to come and bite me on the back. So what a performance so far, but we're still drawing nil-nil. Our Champions League hopes hang in the balance. I appreciate your efforts, boys. I can't even speak out of time. I'm so proud of the lads. Dean kind of very nervous out there. He just needs to just chill out. Play your own game, son. Willian is on a 6.4 out on the right-hand side. And Lopez is on a 6.5 up top. Madrid have come out of the second half swinging. As they're now up to eight shots on goal. Not on target though. And here come Madrid now. They've had a bit of a bollocking in the break. and But the ball is given away by John Stones there. And Willian now. Can he find Dean Ganner? He tries to. But that wasn't the best pass in the world for Grady to get on there. And here comes Bernadeschi. And it's Luka Jovic now. Jovic, can he get a shot in? He goes for the shot. I don't know if it was saved or bounced off the post. But we do get it away. And we survive to live another day. Is that other day could have been coming soon though? And here comes Panzo. Or can we somehow strike? I mean, if we did, it would be unbelievable, wouldn't it? Shaw's back to Del Ferraro now. And here comes Del Ferraro. Started from the back. Shaw's to Godin. Godin to Horahan to Linhurst. Ball through the middle. It's Lopez, but he's all alone. And he goes for a big one. And Courtois has to get an hand to it. And he knocks it over. Can we do something? Lopez puts the ball into the box. Shaws has got to throw himself at it. But the defender gets it away. And there's another highlight here. Can we start from the back once again? We're going to get on that. It's Dean Gannon. He's going to run at the defence. He gives it to Lopez. Lopez. He finds Willian. Willian! <laughs> oh, we bloody done it. <laughs> We've only got a bloody scored. Can you believe it? The ball to William. And he's about 336 years old. But he puts it into the ball. Corner does the Brazilian. And VVV Venlo lead Real Madrid by one goal to nil. Of all the things I've done on this save so far, this has got to be up there with one of the best things ever. Ball over the top though. Can we hold on for the lead? Here comes Jovic. Oh my days, what has just happened? The ball finds the net. Is he offside? No. And I think Del Ferraro might have to hold his hands up for that one because it seems to just trickle past him. It goes through. And, oh, that is a bad, bad mistake from the goalkeeper. It's just trickled into the back of the net. I'm not changing anything. The players are going to stay the same. Can we hold on for... Some sort of a draw. We don't deserve to lose this game. And we definitely deserved... If we got the three points... Ah. And... However, has had a bad two games against Real Madrid. Let's just say that. <laughs> Four three. And Cesar Kaziwicz, who's on loan from Lazio, can come in and just play in that wing-back position. But we're going to stay with this. I'm going to go for it. Forget it. I don't care... We're going for it. We're down into the last 10 minutes of the game. And nothing has happened since the sending off. And I'm hoping that it's not just going to fall into place for Real Madrid to get a late, late winner here. Because they don't deserve it. Can we somehow... I don't know. All done for the draw. But also, can we just do something and just get, somehow nick a winner? Because that would be unbelievable, wouldn't it? But I don't think it is. We're going into stoppage time now. There hasn't been a highlight since... The sending off. And it looks like things... Oh, I say that. But here we go. Gold into Horahan. Horahan to Dean Ganner. If we win this... Ah, oh, I'm talking too soon. Am I? Panzo tries to dive in. It goes through. Ah, he's missed it. <laughs> oh, we hold on. We're hanging on. We are hanging on here. Can we hold on? There's literally 20 seconds ago. Bernadeschi. He's won it. He's won it for Real Madrid. Ah. He's won it. I've got nothing else to say. He's only gone and won it. I knew it was going to happen. I just knew it was going to happen. 95th minute. Oh, I thought we were going to do it. I really did. Ugh. What a performance from us. Sympathise with the boys. Absolutely. 
So that is the score, and that's obviously confirmation that Manchester City also won 5 0 and Real Madrid beat us by two goals to one. That leaves, we're out of it basically. There's two games to go. Uh, City are on nine points, we're on three. Mathematically, we can still not really do it. We can do it, but not really. Um, it was always going to be the toughest of all tough tasks to get out of this division, if I was going to be completely honest with you, I say division, out of this group stages. But we've just got to make sure that we beat Salzburg in the next game, which is against Salzburg, I think. Or it could be against City in the next game. But anyway, it doesn't matter. We've just got to beat Salzburg. And if we do, we get Europa League football, which is the most important thing for us this season. To just stay in the Europa, in Europe kind of thing, and push on to see if we can go as far as we possibly can. I still believe that we can go really far in the Europa League. And like I said, this series is all about us winning the <laughs> winning the cup in Dutch football and then going on and winning something in Europe. That's what this save is all about. And I'm... Oh, I thought we were going to beat Real Madrid. <laughs> I can't even pick us up. I thought we were going to do it. I don't know whether to come back for the Salzburg game or not. I think that's what we're going to do. I think we will do that. I think we'll play... The Salzburg game next and see if we can get through that and if we can get Europa League football and then we'll start coming back with some games in the league. Like I said, we've played a lot of league games in this series so far so I want to bring you as many European games this season as possibly can because the way things are going in the league, we're not obviously 100% certain that we're going to have European football again next season but like I said, the main aim is for this save, what we're on at this moment in time, is to win the Dutch league which we did. And then we go on to try and win a European trophy. And we're still in the European chances. I mean, there's going to be a lot of big teams going into Europa League. But if we can get them at home, we can do them. We just nearly did Real Madrid and they're the best. So we play that against City, we could get a victory. I'm just saying. But we can definitely go away from home and get a result against Salzburg. I definitely believe that. And we will be coming back for that game in November. And then there'll be plenty of time to play some league games after that so i hope you've enjoyed this episode as much as i have if you have give it a like give it a thumbs up and share amongst family and friends don't forget to hit those like and sub buttons for us it's so easy if you are a viewer but not a subscriber then please just go onto my page captain betterman fm and press that subscribe button and check out all the other fm content that i have on there talking about fm content just want to give a massive shout out to the lads over at passion for fm for contributing to my videos and supporting me as i'm going through my football manager saves in fm 20 also if you want to keep up to date with everything that i'm up to go and follow me at captain betterman fm and obviously like I've just said, go and subscribe to my channel. I'm so, I'm exhausted. What's happening? What day is it? Where am I? I'll see you for Salzburg away. Bye-bye.